do is I'm going to show you two commercials I created here. Um, one commercial is for color director, and the other commercial is for power director. And the point of showing the commercials is twofold. First of all, the commercials themselves are going to be talking about a lot of the new features within the programs, but also they were created within the programs themselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the commercials, and then I'm going to open them up in the power director environment and kind of take you through how some of the uh, more highlighted effects were created. So here's the first commercial for our new product, Color Director. Dean, Dean, over here. Hey, go touch your wagon. Go ahead, touch your wagon. Go get it. There you go. Whoa, what? the grass. Run your fingers through the grass. Whoa! Is that amazing? Color Director allows me to control the color range of my videos to help transform the mood of a scene. Now, any color you can imagine can become a reality. Changing the color of a moving object was once a long and complicated process, but now you can easily select the object and the motion tracking tool will chart its movements. Color Director also provides innovative ways to change the tone of your video. Just select from our vast library of presets, and you can share your effects with people all over the world. You can even change the look of the weather, from a sunny day to a gloomy day, and back again. Now you can unleash the true power of your personal videos with Color Director. Great. And uh, the second commercial here is for Power special ones in our minds. We grab onto them. Cherish them. You can transform those memories into movies you can watch over and over again. I'm a professional videographer, but for fun I like to tell stories about my life. Power Director is packed with amazing features and effects. It supports multi-GPGPU acceleration. I can even use a second screen for real-time HD previews. The revolutionary content-aware editing tool automatically analyzes footage, focusing on faces, poor lighting, shaky video, zooming, panning, and motion. You can even use these intuitive tools to add great effects to your videos. And if you need more effects, just go to directorzone.com and browse our extensive library. When your project is complete, Use the program to publish directly to YouTube or Vimeo. We got a nice channel works in 3D. Great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up both those commercials in the Power Director environment here. So um, I'm sure some of you in the audience have seen Power Director before. So I'll just kind of go through some of the new features that we added here. So just wanted to highlight that we have adjustable thumbnail sizes now. All of your media is kept up here. Um, these commercials were both shot on the Red Epic camera. So, um, as John mentioned, um, Power Director is supporting 4K resolution, and it's the first consumer editing software that can support 4K resolution. So, um, briefing through some of the things we have here, wanted to mention that in our effects room, we partnered with uh, New Blue for 32 new effects within the program. Um, going through. Uh, the particle room and the title design studio. It's worth mentioning that anything that you see here can be augmented with directorzone.com. So on directorzone.com you have over 3 million users and over 300,000 different effects. So whether it be text templates or different transitions, it's important to note that you can always go to directorzone.com and download those things completely for free. Um, but the point of this presentation is really to talk about the interconnectivity between audio director, power director and color director. So I'm going to move down to the timeline here and uh, let's take a second to talk about uh, color director first. Uh, as I go to the timeline, I should also mention that you can support up to 100 tracks of audio and video, which is, in my opinion, more than you would ever need. So let's take a talk, uh, let's take time to talk about this particular moment from the color director commercial. <laughs> 
change the look of the weather from a sunny day to a gloomy day and happy day. Okay. So what I want to do is demonstrate the interconnectivity here. So I'm going to send this particular clip, and this is the version that doesn't have the effect added. So let's send this to color Director. And I open up color Director, and what happens is Power Director is still running in the background. And what you're going to notice is that all of the changes that we make in the color Director environment are automatically going to affect the timeline of the Power Director environment. So before we get into some of the manual um, tools that you can use to adjust color, um, let's talk about some of the presets that come bundled with the program. So you have some uh, more subtle effects, and then you have some more outrageous ones. Uh, this one looks a lot like Minority Report to me right here. So the thing is, is that in addition to these uh, 28 or so effects that come uh, pre-bundled with Color Director, you also have DirectorZone.com that has over 300 to download. And when Volker does his presentation on Photo Director, you're going to notice that the environment here looks very similar. And um, in addition to that, what you can do is presets that are created for photos can be applied to videos and vice versa. So in addition to the 326 I mentioned, there's also everything that would be on the photo side that you can import into Color Director. So let's focus on the manual adjustments here. I'm going to skip ahead in the timeline to the moment where Matt snaps his fingers, or Matt's the actor's so, name. Um, let's find it. Okay. So the effect in this moment is the idea that he snaps his finger and it becomes uh, day to night. So, Let's do all the regular adjustments we'd make in making something nighttime. So I'm lowering the mid-tone, trying to make this a bit darker here. And let's lower this as well. So at a certain point, once I do some effects here, I kind of hit a wall because the sky here is clearly shot during the day. So that's where this regional adjustment brush comes in handy. So what you can see is it's going to make it really simple to grip on to the sky here and leave the landscape intact. And I'm using my mouse wheel here to make these fine-tuned adjustments in here or the skyline. And let's get a little bit from over here as well. If you want a quick solution, you can always just feather out the edges here. And you can see it's going to wrap right around the landscape there. And let's just darken this up a little bit. So you're going to see what's going to happen here is that you know we're getting close to that um, day for night kind of look that we desired. So when I was first given this product, the first thing that came to my mind is at this point, this is only applying to this still frame. So I asked myself, how does this apply to motion? So in order to demonstrate the motion tracking tool, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that moment from the Color Director commercial where he has the ball and the ball changes color. So I'm going to grab that clip and we're going to show you the motion tracking here. So it's important to note that when I exit out of Color Director, immediately the darkness effect takes place in Power Director. So I'm just going to roll back my changes. And let's talk about this effect here. So this is once a long and complicated process. But now you can easily select the other. OK. So like we did before, let's take the unedited clip here. New color change to the ball. And let's send this to color here. Same as before. And you're going to see that we're going to use a lot of the same tools that we just used, but we're going to use them a bit differently. So I'm going to go to the moment where Matt, again, is holding the ball. Frame. And let's use this tool to select the ball. Okay, great. So let's make it yellow, turn the temperature up, turn the saturation up, turn the brightness up. And I'm going to use the feather effect, but this time I'm going to use it to create a little bit of a glow around the ball. So again, we're at the same stage we were with the sky moment. So let's apply the motion tracking. Let's see what happens here. So as you can see, it's going through all these frames, and it's calculating. Now, this would have been hours worth of work before. But what it's doing here is it's reducing that frame-by-frame -frame work and really making it easier for you. It's also important to note that uh, you can invert the mask at any point if you wanted to do something very similar to like an Instagram effect where everything is in black and white except for an object. And also, keyframes are being created here. So this particular moment, obviously, is the time that we change the ball to yellow. So if you wanted the ball to be blue at this point, you just simply do that. Um, now, in order to demonstrate uh, the quick rendering happening here, let me exit out of Color Director for a second. Like before, you'll see that the changes are instantaneous to the ball here. And if you really compare that to 
what is in the phone. It's a long and complicated process. But now you can you can really see that we like we arrived at this moment within like 30, 40 seconds, maybe a minute. So it really is reducing the amount of work there. So let's put color director to rest for a second, and let's take a second to uh, talk about power director. So um, you heard uh, Zhao mention uh, content aware editing. So I wanted to kind of go into uh, what that looks like and open up a piece of footage in the content aware editing. So here you can see the content aware. Editing. Um, now, this is a seven minute long clip and it's focusing on Dean here, he's the child actor, okay? So one of the things that I was taught in film school is that when you work with child actors, um, they're completely unpredictable, you have no idea what they're gonna do, so it behooves you to not turn off the camera because what you want them to do may happen when the camera's off. So that's why we rolled on seven minutes of Dean here. So what Content Aware Editing is doing here is it's organizing your footage, focusing on zoom, pan, faces, motion, shaky video, and poor lighting. So from a professional use case, I can know that when I focus on moments where the faces are highlighted, I'm gonna see Dean's face in those moments. Now, there's another use case that's important to note as well, which is the idea that if you have a two hour long um, vacation video, and it tends to have the same information in it, and you know, for lack of a better word, it tends to be boring after a while. If you took a piece of video and you put that into content aware editing, what it's going to do is it's significantly going to reduce the time, that it, the length of it. So you're going to see a two hour video will be transformed into maybe a 15 minute video that has things that are traditionally more exciting. Now furthermore, there's some fixes that you can make in uh, content aware editing. So just really quickly, if you have something with poor lighting in this particular clip, the only thing that happens to have it is this shot of the grass. You can make a quick adjustment like that. But in addition to that, you can um, use the tool to stabilize shaky video. So pay attention to the wagon on the horizon here. You can see there's a lot of shape there. And then I can simply, with one click, I'm going to show you the same footage again. And you can see the shape is significantly reduced. And it's reduced on horizontal, vertical, as well as a gyroscopic rotation. Now, um, what's interesting about the, the stabilization and you know, with the new wave of cameras that will be 4K, it's the little amount that it zooms in is completely imperceptible to the eye. So doing little adjustments like this, at least in my opinion, are gonna become quite common. Um, let me demonstrate, take, take the footage that I talked about here, Dean's face, the poor lighting, and the, the stabilized video there. I'm gonna select it in the content aware editing mode. It appears up here. And then I'm gonna bring it back into the power director environment. So, I select OK, and it gives me um, oh, a little warning here. And I'm going to choose, using ripple editing here, five different methods for how to insert it into my timeline. So let's overwrite. And you're going to see, as it appears right here, the uh, video, the stabilization video, is completely ready to go. No rendering required. Let me roll back my changes here. As I take a second to, uh, I want to talk about uh, audio director. Now, so I want to show you this clip from the Power Director commercial um, as a final version. In our lives, moments fly by. We want to keep the special ones in our minds. We grab onto them, cherish them. Oh, I have that clip highlighted. This is the part you want. Cherish them. You can transform those memories into movies you can okay. watch. Now, listen to this before it was fixed. Lives, moments fly by. We want to keep the special ones in our minds. We grab onto them, cherish them. You can transform those memories into movies you can watch. So, um, uh, when you shoot uh, movies or commercials in Los Angeles, it t there tend to be a lot of police sirens and there tend to be a lot of helicopters. Um, so this is the kind of problem that you encounter a lot. And one of the unfortunate things about this type of problem is that you go again and you decide to do another take, but sometimes you don't even look at a take like this because you assume there's no way to fix it without doing expensive ADR or all the fixes seem to be expensive. So I want to send this clip to audio director here and kind of redefine the perception that that clip is in fact unusable. So this is the audio director environment. Everyone knows the traditional way of viewing a waveform and um, this is where your footage is kept and effects are down here. But Let's go to a different way to view the waveform here. Um, this visual repair tool um, offers a very unique way to remove unwanted sounds. So I'm sure everyone in the audience is smart enough to have guessed that this is the siren right here. 
So let's do the work here. I have five different ways of removing the solder. I'm going to use the manual brush here to actually sweep over the molds. Got to make sure I'm here. Okay, and here you see how quickly this works. So it's done, and now let me play it. So you'll see the preview window kind of down here. You can transform those memories into movies you can watch over and over again. So, as you can hear, the siren is completely removed. So, um, it's important to note that this is just one of the many tools that you'll find in Audio Director. You also have um, very sophisticated noise reduction, which in my opinion, the analyze, um, the automatic setting is very sophisticated and it tends to get the right setting immediately. Um, but you also have the ability to manually adjust it. Adjust it. Um, and just breezing through some of the features we have here, I just want to make note that everything you would expect in an audio editing program is there. So you have your equalizer and your dynamic range control. And you also have a very sophisticated mix tab, which um, allows you to finalize your audio. So I'm really going to quickly open this file that has birds chirping and uh, mix it into my timeline here. And it's important to note as we're audio mixing here is that uh, we have an app that's gonna be released for the iPhone that's gonna allow you to record sounds to the iPhone um, with the phone or with an external device. And the idea here is that you're gonna be able to um, import into Audio Director very easily. But in addition to that, we're gonna be building an online sound library that is gonna grow to be quite sophisticated. So just to wrap up my presentation here, I'm gonna exit out of Audio Director. You're going to see that uh, the changes, much like with Color Director, are going to automatically affect the timeline of Power Director, as represented by this logo here. And whereas a minute and a half ago we had a siren in that shot, you can hear. We want to keep the special ones in our minds. We grab onto them, cherish them. You can transform those memories into movies you can watch over and over again. So I replaced it with some birds there. So, that's a, a brief tour of uh, Power Director, Color Director, and um, Audio Director. And I'm going to turn it over to Volker here to talk about Photo Director. So thank you for your time. Thank you, Adam.